Hey guys, what is up? It's Save the Gate. Hope you're having a great day as always. Today I'm picking up where I left off on Dream Daddy. And right now we're in this sweet little coffee shop. Ordering our coffee with our daughter. I, Mamanda, that was her name. <laughs> Drew a blank there for a split second. Let's get back into it. Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyways. Hey, hey, Scott was cool once. The couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not more, maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable as talking with people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Come on, what do you say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if that's... If I always stay inside, I don't go outside, and blah 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 blah, yeah. talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Ooh, that sucks. Got a cut on my uh, lip right here, and it also hurts. Can't eat too much. It really inconvenient. Good one. Hi. We're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda. This is my dad, Fred. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. You want to come come by when my daughter is hanging around the shop? You two might get along. Yeah. I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Matt goes to the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first, so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, uh, profile of, you know, what really appreciates the savor, the flavor sensation. Sorry, I was looking from screen to screen, got uh, a little confused there. Amanda nods vigorously, she knows this game. Yeah, we need to get that Nana Bread a taste if you want us to do if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be commensurate with uh I've never I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyways. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing, yes. <laughs> yeah. God, I can't read today. Uh, thanks, the secret ingredient is bananas. <laughs> it's banana bread, but the secret ingredient is bananas. Alright. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think you might only be able to give you dad fan puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread. Ooh. Right. Banana bread. I think we'll go grateful mm. bread. Like the jam rock band fronted by Jerry Garcia. Oh. That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Grateful bread. Strong decision. Arts. I hey. totally skipped that part. Uh, I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. And maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Uh -oh. hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, hey. baby. See? It sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Hey, so I look away. Hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Get back to the packing. Let's get some fresh air. I need a nap. Let's get some fresh air. Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Hey, Amanda, I, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape this flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park run through the finish line. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. 
Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Mm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench where we start to make our way over to it when... Hey. Heads up! Ow. Got smacked in the head or something. Oh, got smacked in the head by a frisbee. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. <laughs> Oof. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around his neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Hello, did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. Rough. He runs around in a circle, nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you impart impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog? Pet the dog. Where do I pet the dog? Give him head rubs, chin scratches. Do I try the butt pats? No. Let's do let's do head rubs. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with heads, not your face. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Fred. That's my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's uh, tummy. Uh, Hi, your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves attention. He's great. Uh, it's great to see another father and daughter out here. Such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over his aggressive you know, where a young girl sits on the checkered bed blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. <laughs> this is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she's reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten. She's precious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dead instinct kicks in. I want to brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. Whoa, what's going on? Brian, go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, I... It's like Pokemon. That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Fred's HP. Oh, it's so funny. We named him Fred, just like Pokemon. We're like doing a Pokemon kind of thing. So Fred's HP is 80. Brian's HP is 20. Oh, I actually. What's DHTR? Let's do this one. Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only. Oh, uh, okay. Um, brag, I guess. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. Let's brag again. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. Uh, she's the president too, of course. Dang, my house school doesn't even have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. So we have 55 PS. Let's brag again. Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 HP. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip period. Ooh. Amanda. Amanda kind of bristless at that one. You lose 20 HP. Alright. Can we do items? Oh, okay. You pull out a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last, last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad. Awesome grades. Brian loses 25. You really carry that thing everywhere? Ouch. Maybe it's kind of weird you lose 5 HP. Daisy sold enough candy prizes this year to get the top prize. A canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand... Could barely get... One of those sticky hand things, that's funny. It's extra powerful, you lose 20 HP. Oh, so we need to like really smack him around. Let's, let's... Oh wait, I could've used a bandage, probably would've healed. Following through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. 
Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepared for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third year in it. Oh, crap. Uh, did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute. But maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Dang. He's really got his beat. Boy. It's been such a, th a treat getting to meet you two. Arg. Did he have to add insult to injury being such a gracious winner? That's funny. So we lost. Um. So I'll take you guys to the new neighborhood. We just moved in. Oh, he takes it. We're from the new neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah. We live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. That's a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world, yeah. Daisy and I are just a little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? That's a lovely place. Well, I don't want to make up any, take up any more of your time. Really nice to meet you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happy, happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up one, one up us? Trying to succeed? I can't believe that kid's only 10. When I was even, what was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame, <laughs> shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comp comparative horse studies. It's not too late. Minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth. Man. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir, Sir Horsington the Brave. An epic in seven parts by Amanda. <laughs> oh, that's right. My name's Dude. <laughs> Alright, we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit, enjoying the day. Alright, let's go and pack. We should head home. I'm gonna need four hours minimum to figure out how to build my new bed. And I didn't, I'd like not to sleep on the floor again tonight. Doo -doo -doo. I get to work unpacking various boxes around the living room. A couple of hours pass and I get some good, some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over the door and open it. Hello? <laughs> a handsome, clean cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Yeah. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Fred. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Uh, Joseph leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled the cho in the chocolate uh. chips. We both share less. Kids, right? Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her a plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come up. She's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, I'd, I'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh, I mean, don't worry. You didn't mean, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met in my social life. And my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Yeah, hey. okay. Is the muse, is Mrs. around? No, not anymore, she died. Uh, yeah. uh, no. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand here quietly for a moment, uh, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I'm sorry, You can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but calmly. After a second, I hear the knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge <laughs> smile. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse at this time. I'm throwing a barbecue <laughs> for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands and yeah. to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you by 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts to walk away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. 
Hey, in all seriousness, raising kids on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a yeah. youth. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph is gone. He seems nice. Amanda walks up to the, or walks back into the living room, combs her face, <laughs> and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. Okay. See, you're already fitting in great. Um. Whoops, skip that. They're gone, I'm sorry. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So, all of them anyway? I guess that makes... I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. Alright guys, I'm going to leave this episode off here for today. If you enjoyed the video, remember to drop a like. If you haven't yet, remember to subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so when I upload. Until next time guys, keep it real.